we're going to say welcome. Welcome to episode one. Yep. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to episode one of Keeping Up with the Antonios. I'm Cara Antonio. And I'm Ebony Antonio. And today the topic of choice is obviously the elephant in the room, the coronavirus, what's been going on uh, out in the big wide world. Uh, but we're going to give you our take on it and the I suppose what the last week has had in store for us um, and a few little house rules uh, that we've needed to change and a few house meetings that we've had, isn't that right? Yeah, it's not to my <laughs> great. <laughs> All right, so it's, give us a bit of a background on what the last week, so what has the last week had in store for us? So I suppose the last week and a half. Yeah, it's been a little bit different. I've been sick, so... Um... Now just... Now, just for the not general with, public, what? not with Corona, just um, a little flu. Um, I probably played it out a little bit more than what it was actually worth. But so, in my in my view, I'd say you had a bit of a tickle in the old throat. Would you agree? No, <laughs> it was fed down. Right. Um, yep. Go on. So for me, it's, yeah, I haven't really left the house per se. I think the furthest I've been is um, in the car to go get coffee in the morning, but. We've been isolated from each other. Um, this is probably the closest we've been since I'm actually better today, so that's good. Um, but I've been locked in the front half of the house and Juddie's been isolated in the back back half of the house. So um, I'm not sure, sure I'm too happy about that after our house rules meeting. So who made that initial call to isolate? Was that me or you? Well, it was you because you're the boss of the house. Oh, so. I, I would completely disagree. I believe you are the one that said... Maybe it's best that you sleep in the spare room. Is that correct? Yes and no, only because I wanted um, Willow to sleep in the bed with me. <laughs> right. So you, we iso- we've been isolated uh, for about seven days now. It was Monday, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. So seven days now, I've been in the back half of the house, which I would say is probably a win for me. Would you agree? I would agree. Yep. So I've got the spare room at the back, which has got the, la- uh, the computer... Um, really comfy bed, I must add, probably comfier than our bed. And I've also got the theatre room with Netflix, Apple TV and everything. And what have you got in the front half of the house? Well, I did have Foxtel um, in the front half of the house, um, but you've gone and deleted that now. <laughs> so all I've got is free-to-air TV, um, which is no good during the day, as we all know. So other than that, I'm watching Netflix off a mini iPad, which is not great for viewing. <laughs> right. So I uh, so that can lead us on to our next uh, little conversation. So we had a house rules meeting uh, a couple of days ago. Um, it was after the fact that uh, you'd obviously have to take a few days off because of your sickness. There wasn't a lot of income coming in. I've done a few days here and there. But we had a house rules meeting. What was... What was the nuts and bolts of why we had that and what was the outcome? Well, it's because you are unemployed <laughs> and I was sick. So, yeah, money was a bit thin for a week or so. Um, so, technically, because you quit your job, we've had to make a few <laughs> rules put in place, um, which includes my favourite Uber Eats. We're no longer allowed to do Uber Eats delivery. Um, I've been told if I need food, I need to go get it myself, which is hard because I've been sick. So, I've been isolated. So... Um, Uber Eats would have been fantastic, but it's been taken off the list. <laughs> so I will read. I will go back a step. So Uber Eats. Now, I think um, it would have been about seven days ago. Now I was on my way home. I'd just done um, a PT session with our boxing coach Springer. Um, I was coming home from Freo again. You had the first day of a little tickle in the old throat. So I offered to you, do you want me to stop off and get you anything? And you said, what was your response? <laughs> I said, no thanks, hun. Um, I just ordered a Big Mac. <laughs> so you just ordered a Big Mac off, off Uber Eats, which is fine. So Big Mac, what, set you back how much? Five bucks? Yeah, about $6. I don't okay, know. plus six ninety five delivery. So you just paid twelve ninety five for a Big Mac. Was it worth it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. And then also we were having dinner the other night and we... We gave up ice cream and soft drink for the season, the AFRW season, correct? Yes, we did. Which we've uh, followed to a tee. It's been a ritual since 2017. Yeah. So every season we have done that. Juddy gives up ice cream, I give up soft drink. Um, But then we have to compromise and give both up. Yeah, we do. 
So the other night we, uh, <laughs> yeah, we just decided that we wanted ice cream for the first time since November, start of November. Uh, and Ebony said, oh, let's just get Uber Eats. Well, obviously post our family meeting, our house meeting, that was a non-negotiable that we weren't to use Uber Eats. So what did we do? We got in the car. We got in the car, we went down the freeway when um, you got out of the car because I was still sick mm. um, and you went and got our ice cream. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, it was, it was really good actually. Um, all right, so we've ticked off the Uber Eats house meeting. Um, the no fox towel is obviously a big one and that and that's been officially canned. So look, the only reason we probably had, did have Fox Towel is because of the sports channels, correct? Yeah, correct. Um, obviously no sport, live sport on, so what's the point of having, in my opinion, what's the point of having Fox Towel? Although your favorite shows are Teen Mum and the Tattoo of Us, <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> Not Teen Mum. <laughs> tattoo, tattoo the just two of us, it is good quality. I would disagree, and I think your favourite is the team mum. Um, my favourite is actually... <laughs> oh, Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore, Geordie Shore, and um, Catfish. Catfish yeah. is a great show. So I'm glad that we've got no Fox Tale now, so we don't have to watch that crap on TV. Um, we've st- spoken about the isolation and the fact that I've been in the back half of the house, you've had the front half of the house. You've also had Willow, our dog, and I've... Um, I said I would have the two cats in the back half, but I actually locked them out of my room. So they've just been roaming, which is fine. They, they own the house anyway. Yeah, until last night I had Willow, my, Archie and Maui all in the bed with me last night. Yeah, so for those at home, and we'll introduce our little family in later episodes, but we've got two cats and, and a dog. Um, and our little orphaned little cat, Maui, I would say ru- rules the roost. Um, and Emily had all three animals in her half of the house in her room last night. So I got, I probably had the best night's sleep I've ever had, to be honest. Well, um, so did I, actually. Oh, well, that's, that's great. You sleep, <laughs> you would sleep through anything, though. No. <laughs> I disagree. Well, I woke up to Archie eating our bamboo on either side of our bed, so that was nice. Now they're dead. Yeah. Our lucky bamboo. They're not that, lucky anymore. And this is the third one we've bought. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, so just going to wrap up episode one of our mini series. So I've got a couple of questions uh, for you just to finish up. Okay, so obviously with this Uber Eats ban that we've put on in the house, how long do you think that will last until you break it? And second question on top of that is what would be the fir- what will be the first thing you order on Uber Eats? Um, well, when do you start work? <laughs> <laughs> It's probably when I would do a sneaky order through the Uber Eats, as long as you don't look on the account. Yeah. Um, but what I'd order, don't know. I'm loving the boom boom back down lately from so Vietnamese. From Vietnamese, yeah, in Freo. Okay, all right. We'll see about that. So you might be ordering Uber Eats for about six months then, by the sounds of it. We'll see. <laughs> All right, we are going to wrap that up. Episode one done. Please feel free to comment below on your thoughts. Give us feedback. Um, But in saying that, we'll see you on episode two where I'm going to go through a few questions with Juddie about her insane workouts during this period of time. Stay tuned and we'll see you for the next episode of Keeping Up the Antonios.